Standing tall at four levels in a space covering about a quarter of a football field is what remains of the structure that killed six people and injured five in early September at downtown Kampala in Kisenyi. The block will stand in place for some time pending a decision to authorize its completion or demolition. We've recommended that KCCA, the building committee, causes a structural integrity assessment so that it is scientifically proven that this building cannot stand. Because we will not look at it and by me looking at it and say it can't stand, let's take it down. No. It has to be scientifically proven that it cannot stand and therefore we take it down. Technical investigations conducted in the aftermath of the accident cemented the earlier suspected use of substandard materials. The findings of the National Building Review Board found that the used 16 mm diameter reinforcement steel was 36% lower than the required comprehensive strength. The used concrete gave only 15% of the expected minimum concrete strength. If we had gotten an engineer that is regulated under the Engineers Registration Act as having, uh, having uh, participated on the project and therefore being part of the causes of the accident, now that would be the jurisdiction of the engineers. With all the evidence, the authorities are yet to have anybody answer for the lives lost as a result of the recklessness. So for us, we identify what caused the problem. And the cause of the problem we have mentioned. Now the criminal liability is outside our jurisdiction. So we expect our report to be taken up into the other report that is investigating criminal liability. Kampala Capital City Authority Building Committee is implicated by the investigations for failing to carry out inspection of the development project authorities confirmed to be owned by businessman Haruna Sentongo. The balance of the structures will in the meantime be cordoned off for safety, much as the soil at the section of the collapsed structure was found to have been compromised since the foundation was not filled. Jackson Onyango, NTV.